to another edition of the Kilted Home Center. Today, I'm actually redoing a video I had done just a few days ago. Um, there was a pretty big blunder and a pretty big mistake I made in the video, and I didn't want people getting the wrong idea or getting the um, doing something the wrong way. So rather than just leaving a comment down below saying what I did was wrong, I decided we better best to just redo the whole video. That way, there's no misunderstandings in the future. So today, we're going to talk about, again, we're going to talk about the um, thermostat and a Ford 8N tractor, or this could also apply for the 2N and the 9N tractor. They all have the, the, the thermostat in the same place. And your tractor should have the thermostat in the upper radiator hose, which looks like this, just a straight piece of rubber. And, inside, and inserted in that is where your thermostat is. Now, a lot of times guys will say, well, why do I need a thermostat or do I need a thermostat? Uh, my tractor was overheating, so I took the thermostat in it and it alleviated the problem. That may be a good thing that you alleviated that problem, but there's a source to your problem that it was overheating. Maybe it was a bad thermostat. Maybe it's a cooling issue as far as the radiator needing to be flushed or something like that. But your tractor does need to have a thermostat in it. And a lot of guys, guys will say, well, it's not that big of a deal. You know, I don't run it that much. Well, the thermostat helps keep the engine up to proper operating temperature. The, the original thermostat in the Ford N-Series tractor was, is this one right here. And it's a 160 degree thermostat. Um, they did use the 160 degree thermostat because back then when, when, this, when these tractors were developed, they tended to use antifree, or excuse me, they used alcohol as a base in their coolants and alcohol would tend to evaporate above 160 degrees. So you did, they didn't want the engines getting that warm. Otherwise you'd be evaporating and losing coolant off the engine. So that's why they have a 160 degree thermostat. As time progressed, we have more modern antifreezes that we're using. In fact, let me use this as an opportunity to point out, make sure you're using the green color antifreeze in your N-Series tractor. Not the yellow, not the purple, not the orange, not the red, but it needs to be the green, basically the green type of antifreeze. And myself personally, I buy the 50-50 where it already has, it's already pre-diluted. So I know I have the right type of water in there with the antifreeze. And there's other video tubes or videos on YouTube that talk about the antifreeze and other coolant aspects of the Ada or the N-Series tractor. We're not gonna get into all that. We're just gonna talk about thermostats today and installation of a warmer thermostat in my tractor. So as time progressed, they tended to put um, higher temperature thermostats in then 160 degrees because the new types of antifreeze could take the higher temperatures. And Anybody who has been around vehicles knows that it's good for an engine to run hot. It's not good for an engine to overheat, but it is good for engines to run hot. And so the warmer you can get your engine without it overheating or ever, without it boiling over, the better it is for the fuel efficiency of the engine and also helps with the wear. So that's why you need to have a thermostat so it can get up to operating temperature a lot faster. And that's what the thermostat does. It allows the engine, it keeps the, engine, the, the water around the engine block until it reaches a certain uh, temperature and then the thermostat begins to open and it lets the hot antifreeze blend in with the cool air and it basically helps the engine get warmer faster and then helps try to regulate the temperature in the winter time or in off season times. So that's why it's important to have a thermostat. Less chance of uh, decreased wear in your engine and it's gonna be more fuel efficient and run and the tractor is gonna run better for you. So again, like I said, this is a 160 degree thermostat. So basically what that means is when the coils in here reach 160 degrees, this thermostat begins to open. It's not fully open at 160 degrees, it just starts to crack and it starts to begin to open. I think from what I understand that 180 degrees, this thermostat will be wide open and allowing water being pumped through by the water pump to go through the whole engine for proper cooling. So um, one of our, uh, sub, our people on our YouTube, or excuse me, our Facebook group online, uh, Bruce Haynes has uh, tips and tricks, 75 tips and tricks for N-Series tractors. And that's where I got some of this information for the video and I wanna thank Bruce for the, his information out there. Now he found out through his uh, research that, like we said, this is an in-pose um, thermostat, that the, a thermostat for a 19 7, 1977 Renault R12 1 1.6 liter engine they use, also use an in-hose thermostat, and they're about the same diameter as the N-Series tractor, and you can get higher temperature thermostats for that vehicle. So because of that, 
Um, I wanted to put it in 180 degrees. I was doing some other work on my tractor. I, I was gonna put, decide to put a 180 degree thermostat in there so it gets up to a higher operating temperature so it's even more efficient, like I talked about a few minutes ago. Now, I'll make sure to put down below part numbers for different manufacturers and for their um, Renault, for lack of a better, for their Renault thermostat, the 180 degree thermostat. Now, uh, I have the numbers for like Napa, AutoZone, and maybe a few others. Now, I still encourage you to make sure that the application is right and that it works for your tractor before you just go ahead and plop it in there and say, well, the Kilted Homesteader said I can do this, so I'm just gonna do it. You still need to have to take a little bit of responsibility for yourself. I don't wanna assume liability for your tractor and your engine. But I was able to figure out that this will work for my tractor, so that's what we're doing. So, the, um, I got the Napa thermostat for my tractor. And this is for the Renault. Now you can obviously see this thermostat is a little bit different. Now, when installing these thermo uh, thermostat in your tractor with the original N series type thermostat, this point here, this point needs to be for to operate properly, needs to be pointing towards the radiator. Okay, so your engine would be down here, your radiator's out here, and the hose will be going up from the engine up to the radiator, and you want to basically be pointing towards the radiator when you install it in the hose. Now, there is a difference, and this is one of the things I found out, there is a difference with the Renault one. The point end does not point towards the radiator, rather it needs to point this way. So this here is your temperature, like your sending unit, for lack of a better word, that's, that's get, receiving the temperature and opening up the thermostat. Back here is the spring that kind of keeps the tension and keeps the thermostat closed. But this here um, heats up, so this needs to be towards the engine to get heated up, heat up properly and then start to open. Again, this will start to open at 180 degrees, and I think it's fully open at 200 degrees. Now, I had originally was under the impression this had to go towards the radiator, and that's where I made my blunder, and it turned out, I found out some people have helped me out with this, that this actually has to be down towards the engine. So that's why we did redid this video. Now, the thing to be aware of, I wasn't sure, I still wanted to check it for myself, so I got boiling water on the stove, heated it up, put this in it when it got up to temperature i watched the thermostat open up i tried doing it the opposite way where leaving this out of the water and this getting warm and the thermostat would not open up so this here is the part that needs to be heated in order to open up that thermostat so that needs to be towards the engine so this is an inline um, system so we want to make sure that again this is pointed towards the radiator this hose may look a little rough a little old but it's only about a year and a half old and it's in really good shape um, so we're going to go ahead and still reuse this hose rather than replace it at this point. So this has to get inserted in here. Um, some of these can be a really snug fit. This one here, I think if I remember correctly, it, it goes in, it actually goes in pretty easy on this one here. I'm not saying everybody's is going to go together like this, but this one goes in really, really easy compared to a lot of my here guys have to use dish soap and stuff like that to try to get it to go in. So we're just going to push it in there carefully. Now, one thing when taking the old thermostat out, I want to point this out. This thermostat was, when it was in there, was really wedged in there good. What I did was took a, a half inch drive, a big socket that fit right over that, and I put an extension on, and I used that, and I kind of put it in, it was in here, and I used the socket and extension to kind of drive the thermostat out. I don't know that you'd want to do that with a new thermostat. I was getting rid of this one, so I was taking it out, so I used that, because these are really thin, like a pot metal, and I don't think they take a lot of abuse. But this has to get pushed in here, going in a little bit more pushing it down through I had some WD-40 I used in there to kind of lubricate it to make things go a little simpler there it goes it's going right in now this hose too I also when I took this hose off the tractor one of the things that helps make it easier to work is I actually kind of massaged it and loosened the rubber up a little bit so it would go in good so now that's gonna go in there. I'm gonna push in a little bit farther, but just for this video, I'm gonna show you this. Some guys say use a, a hose a hose clamp to keep it in place. Other guys say it's not really necessary. I will tell you, this thing will not go shooting up into your radiator. There's a, a metal, the metal um, end fitting right here from the radiator wouldn't allow it to go through. And then there's another metal fitting that you're attaching to on your engine that will not allow it to go through. But you can put a hose clamp around here once you get it centered and where you need to. Just put a hose clamp in there if it makes you feel better and it gives you the warm and fuzzies. And of course, tighten it down. You don't have to torque it down real tight, just to snug it to make sure it doesn't travel or slide around in here as it goes on. 
So that's how you, you uh, install the thermostat inside the radiator hose, and that's how you can get a higher or a better uh, working thermostat uh, like I said, 180 degree for the tractor, which I think it will be, make it more efficient and help with my wear long term. Again, I'm not going to get into talking about coolants, pluses and minuses. There are videos out there for that that are really nice videos. But I just wanted to share the thermostat and the importance of the thermostat. So if you don't have one in your tractor, I encourage you to find out why you're having cooling issues and put one back in it. It could have been a bad thermostat. And, you know, you could test it like a thermostat. You could test it in a, in a, pot of water on top of the stove and that'll tell you if it's working or not so that will conclude this video i hope you liked this video if you did i encourage you to give please give us a thumbs up and if you uh, i encourage you to also subscribe to our channel for further videos coming out in the future we always try to keep uh, videos coming out on a regular basis and we try to have really engaging videos also if you want to be notified make sure you hit the bell so you get notified whenever we release a new video so thank you again for watching another edition of the kilted homesteader